Jay everyone, in this video we'll talk about computing weighted mean using Microsoft Excel. Once again, we'll be making use of our study on assessing the acceptability of Equiper as a learning management platform. For our weighted mean, we'll make use of our second statement of the problem, which is what is the level of acceptability of Equiper as a learning management platform as assessed by the respondents in terms of its usefulness and ease of use. So going back to our questionnaire, so we have five indicators for the perceived usefulness using the four-point rating scale and perceived ease of use. So we also have five indicators. So doing this in Microsoft Excel is easy. So we just have to, again, so we just have to determine the mean of all of uh, the responses of our respondents. So to do that, we go to the bottom part of our spreadsheet and then we use the average function. So it's equal to average, open parenthesis, and highlight all of the responses and press enter. So this is actually your weighted mean. So the weighted mean is just the mean or the average of all of the responses Particular, particularly if we are dealing with raw data so we just have to use two decimal places and then once again I'll just have to copy all this so control C highlight the remaining cells here where weighted mean is used and paste this to put this in the table again I'll copy all this so highlight copy and then right click on this one and then again I'll paste values first and then I'll highlight the first five for my first variable so the first five indicator for usefulness so I'll highlight the first five copy and then go to my table so this is the table for perceived usefulness so I have the header perceived usefulness WM which stands for weighted mean I for verbal interpretation and rank. At the bottom, I have there the overall weighted mean. So I'll just right click on the cell for the first indicator and then choose transpose. Once again, I'll click the borders here, all borders, and center my weighted mean. And then for the overall weighted mean, I'll use the average again. So this is the average of the averages. So it's equal to average open parenthesis and highlight all five here and press enter and then I'll just center the value and then for the verbal interpretation I'll be guided with the scale for my four point like a uh, four point rating scale rather so I'll have my one point uh, for a score of four three two and one so 1 is 1 1.0 to 1.75 So assuming that this is interpreted as disagree and then 1.76 to 2.5 is slightly agree And then for one uh, 2.51 to 3.25, so this is agree. And for 3.26 to 4.0, so this is strongly agree. So I may refer to this scale to put in the verbal interpretation for my indicators so if I have 2.47 here so I'll center this first so 2.47 here is slightly agree so I could actually use the codes so this is SA this is A
or this is highly ugly rather I'll change this to highly ugly agree slightly agree on the second so that there wouldn't be repetition of the codes so I may put in here as a and then for 2.57 that's a and for 2.48 so that is also that is s a for 2.56 so that is a and 2.32 so that is s a and for 2.48 so that's s a so i did that manually but if you do not want to do it manually particularly if you have a lot of indicators what you could actually do is use a formula a nested if formula so I'm making use of if function so open parenthesis I'll click the value here so and then I'll use the lower limits 3.26 2.51 and 1.76 so I'll start with the highest value so if b2 so that's the cell address for 2.47 greater than equal to so the first uh, lower limit is 3.26 comma so if b2 is greater than 3.26 it's highly agree so the value will be ha so i'll be putting ha inside open close double quotation because it's a text and then comma i'll use another if open parenthesis I'll click 2.47 again, greater than equal to, so the next lower limit is 2.51, comma. The verbal interpretation for 2.51 is agree, so that's A, open, close, quote. That's inside, open, close, double quote again, comma. And another if, so I'll click B2 again, greater than equal to, so the next lower limit is 1.76, comma. Open, close, quote, so that's slightly agree. And since there's no more option, so I'll choose comma again, and this is disagree. And then I'll press enter, and then I'll just click on next. Or I'll just have to put three close parentheses. So there you go, so you have an automatic interpretation. Again, I'll just have to copy this, dragging the fill handle down, or cut doing copy and paste. So this time I'll use the fill handle, so point at the lower right box, that's a fill handle, and then double click this one, and then drag it more for the overall weight of me. So I'll set this to bold, and then the last one again, I'll use rank, and then click on this one, comma, highlight everything, excluding the overall, press F4, enter, or you have the rank, and then I'll just double click the fill handle for the rank now so let's do this for the perceived ease of use I'll copy and then I'll go to my table here right click and transpose I'll set the border here since I have five indicators here on top and this is also five I could just I may just copy the formula so that's control C and paste it here and for the interpretation, I may, just, I may just also copy the formula and paste everything here. And for the rank, so it's equal to rank that ABG. And click on the first value, comma, highlight everything, excluding the overall F4, enter. And then I'll copy this and paste to the rest of the cells. So that's basically how you do. Uh, compute for the weighted mean and present it using Microsoft Excel. If you're using the 5 point Likert scale, you may use the following scaling. So if you have 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, so you may use 1.0 to 1.79 for 1, 1.80 to 2.59 for 2. Again, that's 1.80 to 2.59 for 3 you have 2.60 to 3.39 for 4 you have 3.40 to 4.19 
and for 5 we have 4.20 to 5.0 so you just have to type in here the corresponding verbal interpretation in the given points and in the given ranges so if you are making use of the nested if formula and you'd like to have an automatic uh, verbal interpretation you could actually just make use of the following lower limits 4.20 instead of 3.26 and then you have 3.40 uh, instead of 2.51 2.60 instead of 1.76 and then following that you'll have another if for the 1.80 before coming up with the last option so that's basically it for using Microsoft Excel in determining the weighted mean of your indicators.